Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> You know, Maleska fell in a goofy ass mood today, and so did I. So I thought instead of, we get this requested a lot, and we're always apprehensive of doing this, <laughs> but we've checked out some of the best auditions out we of have. Indian Idol, so why not check out some of the funny ones, some <gasps> of the bad ones? I am <laughs> caught in the loop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Namaste, Hello. Sanjeev, Sanjeev. Sanjeep. Oh, imagine he goes in there and he's Himesh and he's like, I think about Naya. Oh, I like the little kid without teeth. Cute. Hey, yo, Neha, put that pen down. You're gonna fucking poke yourself. Okay. Check it uh-huh. 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 You're fine. Hey, give him a shot. <laughs> Shut up. He must be acting. No, There's no totally. fucking this way has, he tried. This is a skit. I hate laugh tracks. They piss me off. Genuinely, I hate laugh tracks so much. Oh, he's totally trolling. <laughs> How far are we going? Can I just say that guy got potential? You know why? Because the positioning of the larynx is actually not bad at all. You can it just needs a little. Dude, that is not that he measures out here snacking. He just needs a little tweaking. He needs a little control. It's not that completely off. Wow, he is pissed. You know, I actually, I never feel like they're as bad as they put them out to be. I, I actually feel like they're that. so coachable, you know? This guy totally I, is. The, I told you it's something. Like, it's so easy to like sit here and like take the piss. But oh, no, I, actually I actually feel like... I see potential here. Yeah, I, yeah I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to be super nice. He lacks control, but he's not completely off the chart. Yeah, it's just uncoached. Yeah, it's just very raw. But and unhinged, but also uncoached. But you can know? I just say, can I just point out the positives here? Let me point out the positives. Yeah, we don't like making fun of motherfuckers no, just I'm for the sake of mean. it. But look, okay, I'll point out the positives. This guy, for example, the guy that we just watched right now. Not the first one. I thought the first one was just a skit, but you know. Ain't no way this shit's real. No, no, the no, no, first no. one, are you nuts? But this guy would have tried seriously. And I think it, I think this is important to point out. His larynx positioning is actually really advantageous positioning for a man. The things that you could do with a larynx like that, wow. They are endless, right? But what you're seeing here is somebody who has never actually taken singing lessons before. But has a really good knack for experimentation. Also, a very courageous person because he takes balls to do this. That's right. This is what this video is going to be. The funniest Indian Idol uh, 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 reviews. However, we're only allowed to say good things about them. Because that's life. But we're not allowed to lie. No, I'm not lying. This is totally 100% honest. It is a little funny though. <laughs> See, I think he's trying seriously. Vikram ji, you have all the qualities that Neha Kakkar has not. This is something though. 
You know what? You could work with this. Why is that a thing? Why is there so many contestants trying to do a fucking, you know, like in the Philippines, really popular called Doble Cara. And they like, uh, I guess in English words, it just means like a, a fucking larynx flip, I guess, switch. Mm -hmm. Why are they trying to always showcase uh, 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 immense flexibility? Kia <laughs> hora. Oh no. Oh, he's just nervous. Oh. That's it. I like that better from the judges. Yeah, a bit constructive. This is really nice. Good. Well, it's TV. You it's can't teach always him. be constructive. It would be very boring. Mind blowing. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sour lemon face. That was so unhinged. Don't do all this. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's breaking down. He's just incredibly nervous. I don't know what they're saying, but I can read. Come on, son. Oh, the only experience he's got is in a school function sort of thing. How, do I, how are you picking up on these things? I think so, I could be wrong. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, man. Manish ji, thank you very much. Yes, he's just saying like he's really nervous. The, the last thing he basically fucking did performing was in... How are you picking that up? <laughs> how crazy would it be if I actually got that completely right? I just, I have a gift, guys. That would be my Indian Idol audition. Speaking Hindi to me. And <laughs> I'd be like, I speak zero Hindi. Ashiki banaya, ashiki tomhiho, bitch. They didn't even let him try again? Nah, he's just saying, they're just saying, look, man. Fuck no, off, well done, no. go home. No, no, no. And no. he's saying thank you so much for the constructive Everybody criticism. Everybody deserves a second chance in life. No, he's saying... Come back next year, buddy, you can do this. Yeah, I think they told him, like, you know, they, they, he said thank you for the constructive criticism, and then he fucking took the stand the home. Stand. <laughs> I'll take this with me, thank you very much. Here's the funny souvenir. thing, right? There no, is a I'm ton of these. I'm upset about that. I'm upset about that. You know why? Yeah, ballet because... does not stand for making fun of people in auditions because auditions are very difficult They're environments, so hard. anyways. Now, there is this is the weird and part. This is the televised part, so he got through the prelims. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and that's where we have a problem with this type of stuff. I think it's important that actually this video gets published and you guys get to understand our raw, unfiltered opinions about this stuff because it gets requested a ton. Like, obviously, we always check out fun moments and funny moments and stuff like that. But we've been in television, right, for a really long period of our lives, especially when we were young. And our parents, most importantly, were our managers. They were very involved in that part of the world. If you get to the televised audition and we get to review your performance, that means that a producer out there in that t television chain thought that this was either entertaining enough, will hit, will increase the ratings of the show, or you were good enough. At whatever expense it may come, if it mm -hmm. comes at your reputational expense, if you're the laughing stock of the fucking country, who gives a damn? You will improve the ratings. And we've always hated that aspect of the industry because what's the point? What did that do, you bastard? That guy could actually be immensely coached. And I thought these shows were about, like, uh, you know, breeding a star, but they very much aren't. They're, they're you know, they're about entertainment and uh, obviously increasing the stock Hooking value of the in. judges and yeah. also who's got contacts and who doesn't and um, staying on the channel for as long as possible but in this particular in, in but this but this weren't that bad actually actually i d i only feel you should see the um, the britain's got talent auditions fucking hell and and the, the, those people are completely clueless they're about nuts they're nuts yeah they're wild but, but in this particular case i feel like this were specifically chosen in a way that 
weren't as bad as they seem to be. Yeah. Um, and, and I know that perhaps culturally speaking, a falsetto voice, a contra alto in a in 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 India, my for a male is really not esteemed uh, or very well received. But I believe that with those type of natural inclinations you can work with a beautiful range for a male obviously you can always experiment and i think i would always encourage that as a vocalist for anyone out there who's trying to sing male yeah, females, then, young old because then what happens is like my friend look try. was willing to give an audition but then he saw the bloopers on youtube in yeah. which the judges made fun of the person so he canceled the program he said they were much better than him and if he would go there this would happen um, also, this guy Manish, right? The 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 guy that he wasn't as bad as the guys made it look like. Um, they're like everyone's saying, "Mate, you're actually not that bad." Uh, and the funny thing as well uh, uh, about Indian Idol, um, very obviously they they do have the voting rounds, right? Not just Indian Idol. This is to do with all the Idol competitions. All the Idol. Um, the franchise. Yeah, they obviously let the audience pick, right? But it's like an illusion of choice. Correct. Because some will get more promotion than others, depending on our oh, so many fucking factors. Um, you know, I I impact on the industry, contacts in the industry, who generated the most ratings, bloody blah, blah, blah. Actually, that doesn't even matter sometimes because you've looked at it from different perspectives. Actually, if you look at the American one, the one that Putri Ariani should have won. Mm. Um, oh, no, that's uh, America's Got Talent. Yeah, America's, right? America's Got Talent. I was going to, not in the, not American Idol. America's Got Talent. If you look at that one, it's like obviously the person who created the most hype, uh, most impact on the industry was Putri. The other question is, would she want to win that and win that record deal? Probably not. No but, one does. You um, see, I, and, and this is all the politics that happens behind... I spit bollocks. It's behind. entertaining. It's entertaining. But I don't think it should come at the expense of the geezer. Also, at the same time, though, relax. Have a fucking laugh for yourself. Fair enough. I genuinely think but this They weren't shows, that bad. I, I genuinely think this shows are made for television for a specific reason mm. i i i kind of strayed away from this uh, competition shows especially the vocal aspect of things yep uh the televised versions because i never really thought they were doing justice to what coaching or creating or training and they have some world, uh, uh, world class judges in here like they had trey Shell, they had you know himesh and um, i think it depends on the season and what each season is trying to strive for they have different goals every season but i never really felt like a connection between artists and and the upcoming artists that they're building because of the whole entertainment industry aspect of things it kind of yeah. takes away some of the soul but Again, I think these are really good for other reasons. These shows are very good for other reasons. And, like and initial exposure uh, and uh, perhaps building your own brand and things of and the Like sort. Indian culture and like Indian comedy and the judges is fairly similar to how they do it in Latin America. Like it's mm, quite brutal, but yes. it's that sort of our taste, that sense of humor. Like some other cultures or other people might see it as rude, but it's just sort of how Latin people roll. Yes. Um, and I sort of get the same feeling with like the Indian sort of showbiz. But also, funny enough about the Indian music industry and the Indian sort of idol competitions and stuff, they have created some of today's largest hit makers. Correct. Which in goes India. to show that their deals that they get promoted and they get uh, uh, dealt with are actually quite beneficial for the artist. Oh, we in don't know that. In comparison to other art, uh, to other uh, idol shows around the world, where that would not happen. I guess. I mean, we don't know that. I'd love to speak on the inside. No, but that. I mean, as in, like, they are actually getting work, regardless of whether that money goes to them or the label. <laughs> that's another. That's another deal. But they're actually getting work, which true, in true, a true. lot in a lot of other contest shows, they're gone. They're forgotten name after me, they me, win. So. Name me ten winners, and then name me where they are right now. Mm. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>